Most of you guys might already know that in most of my videos I use a screen capture program called ScreenFlow to go ahead and capture the screen of my Mac and go ahead and do all these fancy effects such as picture in picture and zooming in, zooming out, and tilting the screen all around the screen. Well, this program is specifically only Mac only, but what if people want to have these fancy tilting effects and picture in picture effects? inside of a Windows computer. Well anyway, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and do fancy 3D screen tilts like the tilts you're seeing behind me inside of Sony Vegas on your PC. <laughs> Okay, so what I mean by screen tilting effect is as you see here my screen is tilted to the side in a 3D fashion and it can move around the screen and I basically have it tilted in a 3D fashion like you saw in the earlier screen flow recording. And so anyway I'm going to show you guys how to tilt your screen like this inside of Sony Vegas. The only thing you'll need is you'll need a screen capture or a clip of anything that you want to go ahead and tilt and make 3D and then you'll also need any version of Sony Vegas. This will work in most versions of Sony Vegas but I'm going to be showing you today in Sony Vegas Pro 9. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and have something that you want to go ahead and tilt sideways. So for this video, I'm going to be using a screenshot that I just took of my screen here. And so now we're going to go ahead and open up Sony Vegas. So as I said before, I'm going to be using Sony Vegas Pro 9. So anyway, so here is the screenshot in my media bin. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that and drag that into my timeline and I'm going to extend it. Now as you notice here, it's just normal. Now you know what we can do is you can go ahead and zoom in by going over here to the track motion tab, then clicking these little things and you can zoom in and zoom out. So I can click in and I can zoom in and I can zoom out like that. But I'm going to go over here and change that to default. So we can go ahead and do that. But as you notice in those options, you could zoom in and you could zoom out, but you couldn't go ahead and tilt the screen in a 3D fashion. So what we want to do is we want to have our media imported here and we want to go over to compositing mode right here. Click on that and then go to 3D source alpha. And once that's done, we can go over here back to track motion. And as you notice, it has three different things here for top, left, and front which can go ahead and control the screen's tilt. So here, here's still a little blue things where you can go ahead and change the size of it. So let me just go ahead and change it to a little bit. But as you notice, it has these little ball in the center and you can go ahead and change stuff. So on the top here, if I go ahead and change that, as you notice, it's tilting the screen over here. So as you notice, it's tilted to the side. Let me just go ahead and bring that down here. So as you notice, it's tilted to the side. And to go ahead and make everything back to the way it was default, you go here to preset and then you go and change it to default. And wait, let me do that again. And then it's back to the way it was. So the top tilts it. Now the left over here tilts it the same, but you can also go ahead and zoom in and zoom out like that. And here for the front, you can go ahead and choose the tilt as well. But if we go down here, you can go ahead and you can choose to rotate it up, up, upwards, upwards or downwards. So you can choose to go ahead and keep it really like that or not so much. Just make sure you're very gentle on the mouse whenever you do this. So you can go ahead and mess with the, mess with the options any way you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back to default. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to change the rotation to around here. Now if you want to do what I did in the beginning of this video, what you want to do is you want to go down here to the timeline. I'm going to go ahead and make the, the thing right around here and go ahead and add a keyframe and move the thing around. And then you can go ahead and choose the rotation so it's up like that and so now as you notice it starts out starts out like this and then it rotates up and above so if we go ahead and play it as you notice right here there's two little things here on the timeline so these two little keyframes are the keyframes that we added in so you can go ahead and cut them out here so let's go ahead and play what I did so it starts out normal tilted to the side like this if I click on play it goes ahead and plays and then it goes ahead and rotates and you can go ahead and change the rotation every as much as you want to using that track motion tab. So you can go ahead back here to track motion, you can change the rotation however you want to and add in as many keyframes as possible. Just do that for the video in any places that you want to and then you can go ahead up here to file and render your project once you have everything set to the way you want to. So anyway, that's how to do the 3D screen tilt inside of Sony Vegas. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, then please go ahead and check out my channel. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Thank you.